A very good morning to you, Edwin, and thank you very much indeed. And as you can see behind me is a hive of activities as delegates are starting to make their way in now. And from the ANC Women's League at a national level, I have with me Meto Kotaza. Thank you so much, Mama, for joining us today here on ANN7. Your thoughts before going into the, the ANC policy conference? We take this as a very important uh, gathering of the African National Congress because as women, uh, we feel that uh, we will take the center stage in terms of uh, advancing the cause of women because uh, as part of the strategy and tactics uh, of the African National Congress, it has been and throughout uh, the period realizing that uh, women are the mostly affected when it comes to issues of class, race and gender. And therefore, we want to ensure that as part of the del deliberations here, issues of gender equality take the center stage because we believe that for us to achieve the society that we want to achieve, inequality, if it is not attended to, is continuing to be the barrier for us to achieve the national democratic society that we all envisage. So we are here as the ANC Women's League looking into the policies uh, that hinder that, the structures themselves, because it starts with the structures inside the ANC itself. We have proposals in terms of how the structures of the African National Congress and then it, as it then goes out to influence policy of what needs to, be, to happen, we are looking into influencing government structures as well as private sector structures so that we are able to make a meaningful contribution socially uh, because social issues are at the core of who women are and at the same time the economic empowerment and emancipation of women is critical. So we have specific uh, policy proposals. We also are looking into where gaps are in terms of the implementation of policy policies that initially looked very much uh, you know, in favor of uh, empowering women but are not properly implemented. Now, I want to engage you on something, you know, that the president has men made mention of last night and is a clear vision of, you know, the uh, ANC stance coming into uh, this uh, uh, policy conference, which is, you know, uniting the organization as well as the alliance. How important is it for, you know, delegates coming into the, the, the conference to have, uh, you know, that mindset of uh, uh, unity and enforcing unity within the organization? This is the cornerstone for the organization because our success, even in terms of what we have to propose, you know, resolve, you know, revolves around making sure that we are able to have one voice and we are able to present ourselves as the organization that continues to be at the helm of driving the agenda of taking out our people from poverty, inequality, and respond to the unemployment issues. So critical is that we all understand that the African National Congress needs to be united. We need to be able at leadership level. And when we talk leadership, we are not only talking at national level. We want to have leaders up to the basic unit of the organization, understanding what it is to lead society. Because African National Congress is not just leading members of the African National Congress. It is a leader of society. So being a leader, it means there are certain values, there are certain, you know, understandings that you need to have. There are certain qualities that you have to subscribe to. So this is the center of what needs to revolve around before we talk of anything. So I just hope and uh, we hope that as women and the African National Congress Women's League will also be you know, instrumental in ensuring that in any debate and discussion that is going to ensue today, we're talking unity of the organization because it is sacrosanct. We are talking unity of the alliance because all of us, we are looking into being the disciplined force of the left that would take issues and mobilize society and ensure that we take leadership. 
Thank you very much, Ma, for your time. You may go in as we have been holding you for quite some time now. Thank you very much for your time. I also want to introduce uh, uh, from uh, the Northwest Province uh, the Provincial Secretary of the ANC Women's League, uh, Ms. Bridget Mohakwe. Thank you so much for joining us, Ma. Um, it is always a pleasure speaking to you here at uh, ANN7. Um, let's talk about uh, Bukonibu Pirima as a province. What are some of the resolutions that have been made coming into the policy conference? Uh, thank you so much. Let me just explain that as Bukonibu Pirima, you'll remember that we are one of the rural provinces. And uh, our main interest coming here, we have dealt with the issues of radical economic transformation. But our focus, because we look at the strength that our province has, is your VTSG, VTSD, whereby our strength is agricultural uh, 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 programs. Now we are saying that the issues that we will be dealing with in this conference is to influence other provinces to accommodate our issues so that we are able to participate more effectively, especially on the issue of the, uh, of the uh, radical economy economic transformation. And the other issue that we discussed is the issue of the land. We said we can't have radical economic transformation whereas we don't have the land. Now we have agreed as the Bukonibu Pirima that uh, we need to reclaim the land not from uh, 1913 but from 1652 and that the relevant departments were also going to lobby that the relevant departments, your agricultural and land affairs department should speed up the process of uh, giving out land to women and the priority must be women, because we remember one of the resolutions in the 53rd National Conference was one household uh, per hectare, one per, per one hectare. Now, that thing is still relevant, but it's not happening. So as Bukonobu Pirima, we fully support uh, the initiatives of the radical economic transformation, working with the provincial government, that the, 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 the premier, who is the chairperson, Comrade Supra, has spoken about the VTSD. And we are very fortunate because... We are always being taken, we are being considered always in terms of the issues in the province. So we want to spawn that the issue of the radical economic transformation. And the second issue that we are interested in is that we need to build the organization, especially when there have been many other issues that have been raised, but when, especially in terms of the organizational renewal. We are saying that as Bukonibu Pirima, we need to strengthen. Uh, the relationship with our Mahosi because our area is dominated by the traditional authorities. We are saying we need to go back to the basics, working with churches and working with the traditional leadership. But our constitution, one of the resolutions that we want to uh, sponsor here is that we need to come up that the constitution must be very clear in terms of your issues, the role of the local government and the reverses the role of the traditional leadership because at some instance we find as if we are fighting one another but generally we are here just to sponsor the priority of each and everything that will be sponsoring obviously the priority will put women because we think that we've been ready for a very long time in terms of advancing the issues. Thank you very much, Ma, for your time, and thank you so much for speaking to us. Well, there you have it, uh, the ANC Women's League national level as well as provincial level, just giving us uh, their view ahead of the policy conference. And, of course, uh, unity seems to take uh, the focus of, uh, you know, the intentions before the policy conference as well as how to implement radical economic transformation. Back to you guys. We're live at the Nasrak Expo just south of Johannesburg. It's the opening day of the fifth ANC National Policy Conference, and in studio with us is a political economist, Melanie